And so another word for play in, in the sort of circles that I live and work in is hack. So, um, and we all do it. We, we all, everyone here is a hacker of the Dharma. We take methodologies, systems, techniques, teachings, and we make them personal to ourselves. And we sort of, we cobble together teachings with bits of string and sellotape, and we sort of make it all work. Um, and we get results and progress and um, what, the, what we're looking for. And that's uh, the experience of hacking. Um, and uh, I, so this is my experience. I was um, uh, living in London in a, at the time, um, most, um, uh, most sort of my main, um, I only recently moved to Scotland. So um, I work as a, I work as a um, formerly a sort of uh, management consultant. So busy, like busy uh, environments. And I was just hacking my way through and hacking ways of trying to find the spirit of Webu's, uh, Webu Sayadaw's um, uh, invitation for pervasive practice. Um, and I came and sort of, um, I've done, all, we've, I came up with various sort of tips or, or just practices of when I'm walking to work, when I'm um, on the subway, when I'm at my desk, um, when I'm at home, all those different things, which helped inspired by but augment the more traditional practice that I was, um, I was practicing. Um, and then I thought, okay, that's very interesting. Um, what happens if you take a hack? Because a hack is quite um, clumsy. It works, um, but it, wasn't, it wouldn't be something that you'd want to um, uh, show off. It's sort of a bit sort of clumsy, clumsy and clunky. So um, I thought, what if, uh, what if I took those those hacks and added design to them. Um, and this came about from my experience of uh, speaking to people, just people in conversation and them saying, um, I'm really interested in meditation, but I've never got into it. Um, uh, there's been barriers to that. And I spent time with those people, would investigate what are those barriers, um, and, and uh, started asking questions that designers would ask. Um, and I thought, oh, that's it. this is interesting. Um, maybe some of those hacks, which I have personally benefited from, could have a bit more design quality to them and be turned into a product. Um, and so that's what I did. Um, it was a bit of a, it's a big glorious experiment. And I, um, last, uh, end of last year, I took um, several of the sort of techniques and tools from, uh, that I developed and also all just sort of hacked together and also that I knew that uh, many of you do already, and I um, jammed them into a tiny device like this and made an app called Buddhify, which is all about, it's a mobile meditation app, which is explicitly for people who've never got into meditation but want to, and want um, uh, a much more sort of uh, convenient, in quotation marks, ways of getting into meditation. Um, and uh, it was a big experiment, but then interesting started, things started to happen. I started getting feedback that it was actually working. Um, people who uh, would contact me from all around the world, um, just saying like that it was doing what it, it sort of tried to do, which was um, uh, bring, um, bring in just one more new access point um, to the stuff. Um, and when, uh, because, it, because there aren't many sort of uh, things like uh, Britify out there, um, I was getting a lot of people asking me, okay, so what's next? Um, what's, the, what's the next idea? What's the next thing? Um, and uh, I could tell you about all the sort of Buddhify extensions that um, we're planning, but I want to tell you about the big idea, um, which is uh, what I call the layer. Um, and uh, so sort of this is... This is um, uh, this is not one thing. So um, that's a picture of a cake. Um, uh, I was just to give a sense of like, so there are lots of layers in, um, I'll explain, give a sense of what I mean by layer. So um, I'll def the, my definition of a layer is, of the layer that I'm talking about specific, specifically is, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, and whoever we are, we have access to the tools, support, and community that will help us develop our practice. Um, so whether you're, um, and that uh, can be real time, 
uh, in the way that Lama Suryadas was talking yesterday, or it can be sort of non real time. So, um, uh, Buddhify does a very small piece of the layer. It, it finds the person who has, doesn't have that much, uh, who hasn't got into meditation yet, um, and uh, gives them a, a real time way of learning meditation through uh, guided audio. So, um, but that's a very small part of the layer. There's other parts of the layer which are for um, uh, more advanced practitioners. How do we connect resources um, in better ways uh, and so on. So that's the sort of the introduction of what the layer um, is. And I'll just give sort of some analogies that have already existing and happening. So the big layer um, that has occurred in the last 10 years is the social layer. So this isn't news. Um, so the idea that you're able to connect um, with others, have conversations around topics of shared interest, share parts of your life, um, particularly and uh, have grown into, um, really grown in the last 10 years, enabled by new technologies that we're all uh, familiar with. Um, but it's not all, uh, the social layer is not all uh, uh, digital. This event, um, this meeting together is in a result of the social layer because it started as a podcast network and has now grown into a face-to-face -face community and meeting. And so um, that's the, the social layer has clearly been a massive impact in the last 10 years. In the last three years, or maybe four years, we've seen this really horrible term um, called gamification, which is, uh, you can think of it as the game layer, where um, uh, entrepreneurs and companies and whatever have using, using what's um, called game mechanics and play to overlay different parts of our life. So from, if you know, like Nike plus fuel band is, the, is gamifi gamifying fitness. Um, and uh, you, there's ways of, uh, in the education sector, you're seeing um, what to incentivize people to study, they get certain rewards and incentives, and that's the gamification of education. Um, so that's gamification. Um, the layer that I'm uh, interested in us actually building together, which we're already doing, um, is, this is the most horrible word. <laughs> But I'm going to say it. It's contemplative. Uh, I can say it. contemplationification, and it's such a horrible word um, that uh, that's why I call it just simply the layer, or more accurately, the heart layer. So the heart layer already exists. Everyone here is actively involved in it. Um, if you're a teacher or scholar, or um, you you are already providing um, uh, access to teachings and support and community. Um, but what's different, obviously, in the last um, few years is that the, um, the layer we have right now is not covering um, the, the, uh, the, the full potential of what the heart layer could do. So in, in, many, in many ways, the world has become smaller, and we, we've, all found the bene we've all found the results of that. But the, um, in another way, it's become bigger in the sense that there are new domains, new spaces um, available for practice. Um, uh, what I call um, new touch points is, again, it's, another, it's a design term. And so um, there are new touch points for, uh, and opportunities for people to develop wisdom, compassion, and insight. 